Hello Taurus. This is for Taurus singles. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We're going to see how you guys can attract your next partner. Taurus singles. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what kind of person you are right now, my Taurus friends. Hmm. I think you're a little leery. I think that, um, you know, you're not very trusting of people in general. You like to check people out before you actually make an approach. Um, I think you're very, very cautious entering into things. You really do not like to um, just jump right into relationships or situations. Um, very cautious person you are. Hmm. Let's see what kind of person that you guys normally attract here. What kind of person does Taurus normally attract? Hmm. You attract people that I feel are very sensitive, that um, probably, you know, cause you a lot of stress maybe keep you in your head a lot um this person stays in their head a lot i think that um these are relationships that that people people get offended easily and it's like they your relationships probably end very abruptly you know this is somebody that thinks uh, like a lot airy people Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what you guys need to show off more about yourselves. What does Taurus need to show off more about themselves here? Hmm. I think that you're very dependable. You're very reliable. Um, and you do like forward movement. You just do not like to jump right into things. But I think that um, this is offering more. This is speaking more. Um, showing more of your dependability. More of your craftiness. Um, more of the things that like you guys, you know, you do like to go out. But there's just certain things that um, you feel like are not beneficial for you. Okay. I think you guys do like adventure. So I think, you know, this is showing, showing off more of your adventurous side. Taking the initiative here. Okay. Let's see what you need to contribute in a relationship. What do you need to contribute? Hmm. I think that this is this is like being there for people regardless. Um maybe you know forgiving a little more, not feeling like you want to like cut people off right away. Um Maybe some of you can be a little more generous in a relationship, more giving here with the Five of Pentacles. Um, share a little bit more, open up even, okay? Let's see what you must accept. Oh, what you must accept, I feel, about yourself. What does Taurus need to accept about themselves? I think that some of you come across like, you know, a little, um, what is the word here? Superficial for some of you. Um, like you like a certain standard um, that you really, you know, you value the way that people look more so than... Um, than what they actually have inside you you like the you know how you appear to other people okay for a lot of you this is like superficiality 
and accepting that, you know, accepting that, you know, you, you want somebody to, you know, have the money, they have the look, you know, they have the, the demeanor, you know, everything about them is like, you know, on point, you, you like for things to be on point aesthetically, appearance wise. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what kind of love you need. What kind of love does Taurus need? Hmm. I feel like you guys need one that is healing for you. One that, um, somebody that is, has very, um, I don't want to say compromising, but this is somebody that you know if you're feeling down all they have to do is you know talk to you for a little bit and you start feeling better you need somebody that is supportive of you supportive of the way that you are supportive of um the things that you go through and i think you need somebody that is maybe um a people person here and they like for everybody to kind of get along. Um, this is almost like a mediator kind of energy here. Where they can smooth things over. Make you feel better. You know. Lighthearted. This is Aquarius energy here. Okay. Let's see if you are ready for love. Is Taurus ready for love? Is Taurus ready for love? I feel like you guys are ready, um, but I, I still don't think a lot of you are ready to completely be open um, as far as like opening your heart, sharing things. Um, I don't think you really are that comfortable right now with you know sharing everything about yourself I think that you're on your way for a lot of you but I think you're still kind of uneasy about truly opening up and being vulnerable here okay let's see how you will find love how will my Taurus find love? How will Taurus find love here? Hmm. I think you'll find love by noticing people. Noticing people that you would not normally pay attention to. Because there again, you're looking for a certain look. Um a certain status people that you would ignore okay not focusing on just one thing feeling like that's the only thing that can make you happy the only type of person that can make you happy is opening yourself up to other possibilities here okay and I feel like you know this is like um some watery energy here so I'm thinking like Aquarius um, maybe Pisces energy maybe cancer that type of energy hmm let's see what type of attributes your next partner should have what type of attributes should Taurus's next partner have the Knight of Wands, somebody that is willing to travel, um, somebody that does not like to, um, you know, just stay at home. Because I think a lot of you guys, you know, you kind of get comfortable, you know, being at home sometimes. And, you know, and that's that's great. But somebody that will get you out of your comfort zone. Maybe some fire energy. Okay. Sagittarius there. Let's see what else. 
Yeah, somebody that will change your perspective here. This is Scorpio energy. Somebody that will lead you to change because a lot of you are probably set in your ways. Um, this will be a transformative relationship for you. Will bring about a lot of change for you, for sure. Okay, so my guess would be, according to the cards, Scorpio type energy, um, maybe Sagittarian energy, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius type of energy would um, probably be beneficial for you guys and probably, sorry guys, um, and I think that would open you up to like, you know, open yourself, help you to open yourself up more, okay? To explore, you know, what's really deep down inside of my Tauruses. So my Taurus friends, this is what I have for you guys and I will speak with you soon.